All right, moving into surface and atmosphere of Mars. The first question I have for you on this is, why does Mars appear red? Okay, I'm seeing most votes for C. Uh, Mars is the red planet because it contains high levels of iron oxide in its crust. Uh, that's exactly right. So the surface rock on Mars looks red and we have direct images of this because it doesn't have much of an atmosphere and because it doesn't have uh, extreme cloud cover like on Venus, then the color that we see from the you know, pictures that our rovers take is true color. So this is Rover Curiosity taking a selfie and all around it, you can see terrain that's, um, you know, has quite a bit of uh, kind of flattish rocks. There's not as many boulders visible in this particular image, but in general, dotted with larger boulders, uh, you know, covered in this kind of fine layer of dust. And the dust is easily whipped around by the strong Martian winds, even though the atmosphere is very thin. So uh, as a result, we see features like sand dunes on Mars, um, and also uh, these huge global dust storms happen every three years on average. They pick dust up into the atmosphere uh, where it's carried around and encircles the entire planet. And strangely, those dust storms, even though they appear very large, uh, they don't tend to change the dune shapes very much, at least not very quickly. I thought this was a surprise. Uh, this link goes to a NASA website if you're curious about that. Um, and when we look at clouds on Mars, some of those clouds are dust clouds. So this yellowish one here, kind of at bottom center, that's a dust tower. And then these other clouds in this particular image are water vapor. Uh, but as we know, the majority of the Martian atmosphere is made of carbon dioxide. And so uh, carbon dioxide clouds can also form in the Martian atmosphere. Here's a picture of those global dust storms. So on the left is an image of the planet when there's not a dust storm happening. And then on the right, there's an image of the planet with the dust storm. And this cyclic three-year occurrence, um, I'm not quite sure why it's every three years, uh, but it's related to these seasonal cycles on Mars. So uh, Mars's orbit is fairly eccentric, more eccentric than Earth's. And so that eccentricity, the amount of sunlight difference that you get at perihelion versus aphelion, this actually does impact the um, seasonal variation on Mars whereas it doesn't on Earth because our eccentricity isn't enough for that difference in sunlight to be large. So I don't know for sure why this is a three-year cycle, um, but there's you know, more climate influences on Mars due to its orbit than there are on Earth. When we look at the surface of Mars, there's many craters, especially in the highlands as we saw. Um, and so we, like on Venus, don't see a lot of small craters on Mars. Same thing on Earth, I guess, compared to the, um, the moon and Mercury. Uh, and so why is that the case for Mars? Okay, so I am seeing the most votes for A, that the small craters on Mars are eroded away by dust transported in Martian winds. And that's exactly right. So on the Hellas Basin, or sorry, not the Hellas Basin, on the highlands, this is all that can happen. Um, there is ongoing volcanic activity on those highlands. Um, for example, we know from looking at crater counting on Olympus Mons that it's a relatively young feature. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of ongoing cratering on its surface. And so we know that Mars has some on, you know, at least recent within the last hundred million years, volcanic activity. Um, but at least for the rest of the highlands, uh, there's no chance for those to be covered up by volcanic activity. Uh, they could though, uh, in, that's a reasonable idea. Uh, but in the case of Mars, uh, these small craters are eroded by dust. So they basically just fill up with dust. This doesn't happen in the larger craters because they're too big. These particular craters have like these little explosions at the center, which made me think they look like eyeballs and like a smiley face. And these explosions in the center are uh, probably ice related, which I think is really interesting. So this link goes to the European Space Agency, their study of these two twin craters.